But That's we right. digress. We're here to plug your movie. It's called Jurassic World. Jurassic World. I wouldn't even be in this movie if Marty Ferraro, the guy, the actor who played the lawyer in the first movie, who gets eaten off the toilet, remember? Yes, that guy. Had had his way. We were uh, flying to Hawaii. Uh huh. And he, he and I met him on the uh -huh. flight. Hawaii was the place where we first shot it. We were going to shoot our first days, meet Steven Spielberg in Kauai. He says to me, in the, as we're waiting to get on the plane, he says, hey, I have an idea. I've been studying the script. What if, and we should pitch this, both of us, if you like this idea, to Steven Spielberg, what if your character doesn't just get banged and kind of his, his leg, leg hurt and I get killed, you get killed and I get my leg <laughs> broken? <laughs> He would have had his star on Hollywood Boulevard. <laughs> and unless he was the best actor in putting me on or something. But he seemed very, he wanted to make sense. I was like, well, well, I don't know. <laughs> Jeff Goldblum, everybody. Jurassic World, Fallen Kingdom. But finally, we decided upon getting the, you know what a bris does, you know what it is. I think everybody bris does. Bris is the removal of the, it's yeah. a circumcision. The foreskin is removed. Yes, yes and then exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So the doctor, out uh, the window, yeah. our lovely doctor, Randy Harris, who used to play for the Mets. Oh. Good plug. Before, really? I don't know, yeah, I don't know, yeah, okay. No, I mean, I, 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 but uh, he, he became a, <laughs> then he became a, a doctor. So he said, you know, this is not in any way religious, but I think it's a good idea. I do it, I do it good. And you can watch if you want, it's not so, uh, not so uh, nice. But uh, anyway, he, he did it. He says, but I don't say the traditional blessing. I sing, uh, take me out to the ball game. <laughs> As I'm doing it, if you want to join in, and we did. You guys sang "Taking Out to the Ball Game," and then when he was done with that, it was just, you know. Yeah, well, it's not. It's not what you think. Have you ever seen it? They don't did use you? a deli slicer. Yeah, no, they. they... You said, I'm did, sorry. Did you? Did, <laughs> did you do it? Did you do it? Did you do it to your no. children? No. You have. You have. You have a boy and a girl. That's right. And you didn't do it. You're no. uncircumcised. My my son is uncircumcised. Really? I mean, it, everybody at school. My son's uncircumcised. <laughs> So interesting. I mean, I didn't. I didn't. I, it's really more his information to give out, but <laughs> I guess I screwed up. Sorry, hon. <laughs> <laughs> so you. So you. So you must have researched it, and uh, it's because of the natural way. Yes. Or, yes. You want him to look like daddy? No, no. I. I actually. <laughs> I don't mean to cry. I don't mean to no, I, I mean quite seriously. Doing, I'm okay. I would have liked to have won that game, but uh, you know, other than that, I'm all right. I wanted you to win that game, too. <laughs> did did your kids give you this shirt for Father's Day? How did this happen? <laughs> no, no. I got that is it spectacular. Myself. I mean, that is something else. I mean, thank, thank you very much. It's like three shirts. <laughs> How was your Father's Day? Was it good? It was fantastic. You know, I've got a three-year-old, almost a three-year-old, and a one-year-old. It was great. It was great. Did the they give you anything? Did they give you any so, gifts? So here's what, so here's what happened. My, uh, my wife, Emily, was fantastic. She got, you know, flowers came during the day, and she gave me a beautiful card for, from herself. We put nice. them in the, uh, in the scrapbook. And then she made up a couple of cards from them. Uh -huh. But he had made at his school a kind of a, a little pasted, you know, thing, card. And, uh, and she got it to him. I wake him up every day at 7 o'clock in the morning. Uh -huh. And she came in at 10 of 7, unbeknownst to me, woke him up, said, when Dada comes in, give him this card and tell him, happy Dada day, happy Father's day, I love you, et cetera, et cetera. It's, he's on the brink. I don't know if he can do it. He's good, he's good for where he is, but I don't uh -huh. know if he can do that. Anyway, <laughs> I came in at 7. He goes, Dada, see this. He, he says that a lot. See this, see this. He goes, see this. See, see what? See what? Let me turn on the light. Ca card. What's that? He goes, happy Dada day. Aww. I said, no. He says, I love you. What? <laughs> I said, can I have a hug and a bisou? She speaks French. Yes, hug. Hug. Bisou. Wow, that's, yeah, that's a killer, right? <laughs> Fallen, Fallen Kingdom. Fallen Kingdom. Fallen Kingdom. And this is a high honor, uh, Funko has put out two figures of you as uh, Dr. Ian Malcolm. These are... Is it yeah, Funko or it, Funko? Funko Pop. Funko Pop, I think. Funko, say. yeah, it's Funko, right? Funko. What did I say? I you did said I say... Funko, Funko. Funko. What? What's the difference? What's the... What's Funko. your... Funko. I think you were like, like a fun company. The fun company, Funko. Funko, Funko. 
Look, I've lost my tail. I've lost my tail. They can, put, they can put a man on the moon, but they cannot attach these things so that I'm not Jackie Chan. I'm not, uh, I'm not, I haven't been, I haven't been running around here. It's fallen out. Put it in your pocket. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Put it in my pocket. Fet catch a falling star and put it in my pocket. Never let me go. To get on the on the ground in Hollywood Boulevard. Usually, if you're on the ground on Hollywood Boulevard, it means you're a superhero that has passed out. <laughs> I'm close to that, actually. Do you like the placement of your star? Very much yeah. so. Yeah, I had nothing to do with it, but it's across the street from Musso and Frank's, which is a great old restaurant. A great yeah. old yeah. restaurant. Mm -hmm. uh, it's right next door to Adam and Lilith, that sex shop. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you know, they, they sell the standard items. I don't know about that, but I like to. I like to think about Musso and Franks because I remember the first time I was taken there by my friend Shelley Winters, who you don't, wow. you don't know. Yeah, wow. who I'd met in a movie, and her friend Farley Granger. The three of us went there. These guys were the biggest movie stars. She was a wonderful actress in Lolita, Place in the Sun, won an Oscar for... Uh, um... And a great talk show guest, too. Yes, was, yes, yeah. Patch of Blue, we used to... But, so we were p palling around. We were having the sand dabs, and Musso and Franks, of course, is an elegant, beautiful, old we're, we're thing. We're having the sand dabs and the diplomat pudding or whatever we're having. Shelley Winters, and this is nothing against her, she goes like this. I was 23. Just come. I was, like, wet behind the ears. She goes like this. We're having the... She goes... <laughs> And not, and I go, oh. Uh, but she doesn't make a, there's no recognition, not a raised eyebrow. Farley Granger does not raise his eyebrow. I go, geez, I think maybe this is the way the adult modern world is. You look fantastic. You think so? Thank yes, you. Yes, yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. you do too. Oh, what do you mean? <laughs> is that fishing for compliments? Uh, what do you mean? Um, well, you look fantastic, and I happen to have seen that Chelsea Handler uh, bit that you did in the shower naked. Oh, yeah, did you yeah. see that? Yeah, people that got around a little bit. A little bit. Some people what? saw it there. Look at that. Fantastic. Yeah. Did you see his abs in that? How have you achieved that? Because I happen to know, by the way, if you don't, that you're turning 50 years old tomorrow. Yes. Tomorrow is his birthday. Um, and you've got a six pack or a 12 pack or something. You've got, that's fantastic. It's an 18 pack. Well, congratulations. It's unheard of. How uh, did you achieve it? Congratulations. Uh, uh, you know what? I, uh, I don't know. I, uh, I, I go to the gym a lot. Andy, yeah. you see me in the gym, don't you? I see him at the gym. Well, yeah. come on. I'm there too. <laughs> my, my six pack is insulated to keep it cold. <laughs> So you're saying, you know what I'm offended by a little bit is people are surprised. That's what I'm offended by. I wasn't but, surprised. Yeah, you, yes, you were. You were no. like, oh, oh, oh no. you're very, oh. Um, I was not. <laughs> no, you look every bit a leading man as you stand there and in your head area. You look, you look handsome and like you would have a six pack or an 18 pack or whatever. Wait, you can tell by looking at my head area that I would have a six pack? Yeah. We just found out he's an alien. <laughs> you are handsome in your head area. <laughs> no. You are talking like someone from another planet. Pardon my phraseology. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, it can be odd. Look, um, at, look at you. What? <laughs> <laughs> you're, a little, you're a little attracted. That's okay. I think we're... That's okay. <laughs> it's okay, I think, when a man looks at another man and says, Oh, that's an attractive man. I think that's fine. You do? Yeah. Oh, I do too. Oh. What I, happened? I, I almost choked on my Hall's cough drop. There, there it is. This I'm is the sorry. weirdest interview. I'm so sorry. I've ever experienced. Anyone in show business, and that's a gift. There's a lot of people that do impressions of you. Yes, yes. I know, I know, I know, and I like them all. Do you do a, well, you have. You've done it for me. Well, I don't really do a, a, a formal impression. I just notice it, mm, you, uh, oh. Mm, there's a lot of noises and, oh, oh. In between. Do you know what I mean? There's a lot of, I need your glasses to Very do your good. impression. Very right? good. Just, oh, yeah, yeah. oh, you know. It's like, <laughs> Oh, and, and so that's the part I like perfect, is these perfect. little noises you make. Perfect. Little noises. Mm. Yeah, what is that? Mm. What are the noises you make? I'm humming. It's a hum, you know. <laughs> you put your lips together and you hum. Mm. I got the one from you. <laughs> you do that. You took... <laughs> Bob Hope. Bob, Bob Hope. Hope. <laughs> 
I'm you just, just noticing that he's subconsciously removing his wedding ring while he's doing this. Yes! <laughs> Look at that. Hey. Look at that. <laughs> well, I like to play with it. I like to play with it. Yeah. That's true. I like to play with it. I'm wearing jewelry, and um, I should, tactily oriented as I am, I should have nothing. That's what I like. I wash my hands. I like, I like nothing. Right. I like to move my hands. And, but you're like a lizard. Yeah. <laughs> you're constantly touching and probing the environment around you. Uh, I'm told that in your single days, you used to like to uh, maybe, if a woman was willing, of course, uh, give her, read her palm. Is that true? Is that oh, something you did maybe back in your dating days, one of your moves? I had no moves, and that's a long time ago. I can barely remember it. I feel like I've been forever with young Emily. <laughs> but if I, were to, if I were to make myself... <laughs> that's what you... That's the kind of way you talk when young Emily is locked in the attic. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> young Emily. Yes. We haven't seen young Emily for many, many years. Yeah. Yes, now. Where is she, by the way? Oh, she went abroad. Um, yes. <laughs> um, but yes, I suppose, I, well, you know, I have an interest in... Uh, many things. Hands, yes. I, I, I probably had <laughs> interest just, in him. There's no one like him, <laughs> America. There's never been anyone like him. There'll never be one of you again. But do you really enough. know how to do it, or yeah. would you just... You know, no, I, I, of palm, so. do you no, know? I have strong, I have very strong feelings. You know, what I would do is, oh, look at you, I can, you know, and I oh would Oh, my look God, it feels tingly, yeah. Yeah, of course it does. Yeah. The, um, but no. I don't think, no one's ever convinced me that anybody knows anything. I no. certainly know nothing, but right. I, I don't think there's any such thing. People say, do this. Oh, you're going to have five children. You know, how many oh, wrinkles oh, right, do you have there? Right, right. Nonsense. I say nonsense. Really? You're, you're debunking the whole... I debunk it. I'm skeptical. Yeah. I'm as skeptical uh, of that as I am of astrology. Oh, you don't believe in astrology? Not for a second. No such thing. <laughs> but you're just saying that now that you're married. Yeah. If you were a single, you would say, Yeah, you'd if you were single, you'd be like, Oh, are you an Aries? <laughs> Ooh. Well, I oh, may. Let me touch your hand. Oh, oh. I may. You'd be all over it. I can't tell you how many ladies came to my backyard. I'm in the same house for 30 years. It's now our, our uh, special compound. But there have been. <laughs> special compound? Yeah, a, our special I, I compound. You monster! <laughs> You have a special compound? No, no, not at all. No, it's you're just... not leaving the compound. <laughs> no, no, no. Would you like to see it? Mike, you're let just me... handing stuff all over let me left see... and right. Let me see, let me see your, your wedding ring. Well, then we're now we're married to each other. We, so... <laughs> we could be. Which is legal in this state. That's yeah. correct. Well, let me see. Oh, you have writing in here. I don't have... I, is... I do. Can you see what that says? Uh... Those glasses won't help you. Oh, my God, you're blind. This is insane. <laughs> I'm not. This is crazy. The oh. audience looks like a cloud of beef bullion right now. It says peaches plus patches. Yes. What does that mean? Well, she's peaches, I'm patches. Okay. How did you, I'm curious, how did she get the nickname peaches? Well, because... Well, a peaches. Because she's sweet and like a peach, and like a juicy and sweet. A peach. Okay. So, how did you get the nickname Patches? Well, Patches, I, I, I have a, um, a uh, lovely distribution of hair on my torso. Yes? Consider that as long as you like. Um, uh, here, here, I have, I have a couple of, <laughs> I have a couple of uh, other, other little uh, adornments of uh, a fluff. What? So they're inconsistent. What? You're saying it's inconsistent. No, no, no. You misunderstand. I've got, I, I've, I've got something here that occurs. It's a, it's a nice couple of patches, but, and here's the important part. This is where, whence the name comes from. One is inconsistent with the other. This is fluffier. Oh. Oh. Before I knew... Asymmet I it's asymmetrical. It's... Well, you, you're getting it. That's right. Right on the nose. That's it. Asymmetrical. I used to... <laughs> I used to try this to... This is a terrifying interview. <laughs> I used to try to even it up, but she said, no, 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 don't. I like you, sweet Patches. I like you, Patches. I'm Patches. Oh. And then... 